What is going on everybody? It is Sam here and today I will be showing you how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.8 on your Mac using the brand new Forge website. Here we go. So if some of you are viewing this video right now, you are probably thinking to yourselves, I've, I may have seen a Forge 1.8 video from this guy before. Well, you are correct. I have made a Forge 1.8 video already. However, that video features the old Forge website. Since then, Forge has changed the layout of their website, and apparently it has confused a lot of people. And I've been getting several comments on the older Forge video for Minecraft 1.8 telling me to make an updated tutorial, so I figured that's what I would do. And the old Forge tutorial is labeled old website in brackets, this one will be labeled new website just to avoid confusion. So of course the first thing you want to do is open up your browser, be it Safari, Opera, Google Chrome, Firefox, and type in files.minecraftforge.net into the address bar. And you will get to a website that looks just like this. Now this is where people tend to get confused. So it's actually not that confusing, although it does look that way. So if you look if you bring your mouse cursor over 1.8 down here, you will see that 1.8 is bolded. That means we are by default already on 1.8. The website is, has already taken us to the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.8. If we go over to 1.7, for example, you see none of those are, are bolded, meaning we are not on 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, etc. We are on 1.8. So now what you want to do is you want to head down to the box that says download latest. I always like to do download latest and then you want to click installer. After clicking installer, you will be taken to a page full of ads. Your, your download link will not appear here. Your download link will appear here. What you have to do is you have to click the skip button in the upper right hand corner. After clicking the skip button, your forge.jar will start to download. Now another thing you need to keep in mind if you are using Safari, head to Safari and head to Preferences. You need to make sure that this option here is unchecked, otherwise the .jar file will be unpacked, along with any other zip files that you download. Usually when playing around with Minecraft mods, you tend to want to keep everything packaged. So if you're using Safari, make sure that this option is unchecked. And if it wasn't unchecked to begin with, uncheck it then re-download it again. So let's wait, let's wait for it to finish up. Okay, after that is complete, you can close Safari and then just drag your forge.jar to the desktop for convenience purposes. And do not open it just yet. We want to head into our Minecraft application first. All right, so now your Minecraft launcher has opened. Head to new profile and let's call our profile 1.8. We are going to use version release 1.8 and that is it. Then click Save Profile. Make sure your 1.8 profile is selected and then press play. Once that is complete, click Quick Game. Now let's click on our Forge installer.jar. Click Open. Make sure Install Client is selected and make sure it is going to your Minecraft folder located in your Application Support folder. Then click OK. And hopefully it should say successfully installed client profile forge and so on and so on. Click OK. Let's drag these guys to the trash. Now let's reopen Minecraft. In your profile menu, a new profile should appear called forge. Click on that, then press play. If you see this text appear in the bottom left hand corner of your Minecraft start screen, that means forge has installed correctly. Now what if you want to install mods? I will show you how to do that. Click quick game. Open up your finder, click go, then click go to folder, and copy and paste this code from the description below and into this field, then press go. Head to application support, Minecraft, and if you, this mods folder right here is where you install other mods. All mod developers have different instructions, so you want to make sure you are reading their instructions 
carefully when installing a mod that is compatible with Forge 1.8. Alright everyone, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer it. If you are new to the channel and you want to stay tuned for more cool content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below as well. All of my social media information can be found on my website, maddogtherobot.com. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I am signing off.